What's up guys, this is Butchin. In this episode I'm going to talk about MMR and how to raise MMR and some general tips. Um, if you're looking to raise your MMR, and uh, this works in pretty much all brackets. But before I get on with the video, I'd like to talk about uh, reports. So, right now I have 13 reports that I have. Usually you get 3 per week, right? But the way you can... Uh, I mean, take advantage of that. Report people who, like, don't well, don't forget to report people that get on your nerves. So if a person is just really annoying or obnoxious in the all chat and just spams some stupid shit or keeps pausing after kills, just report them for communication abuse. And in all chat, type report that person, and you get report back guaranteed. I've been using this method method for the last three months, and now I have 13 reports. So they just keep stacking up, and if that person gets muted, or if that person is like feeding, and you're reporting for feeding, you always have to say in all chat, report that person for something, 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 like either intentional feeding or communication abuse, and you'll get the report back. And I mean, people usually listen. I mean, people don't really like those people, obnoxious people that just spam like some stupid shit in all chat all the time. So just take advantage of that and. Uh, yeah, and if the person does get muted or does get into a hurry, then you get that report back and you get this message here. So I just wanted to point that out. It's a useful function. Don't forget to report people that are assholes or don't forget to report people that are just bothering you, especially teammates. If, if like, a person on your team is just flaming people for no fucking reason, it's just, like, a cancer flare, because there's a lot of cancers. Like, the community can be pretty shit. So if the person is just being an asshole or being really annoying, just mute him and report him and in all chat type that out. Okay, now on with the video. Uh, the biggest thing to winning MMR is being nice to allies and uh, having a positive attitude. It might sound cheesy and stupid, but if you think about it, uh, if you were ever flamed on your team, suppose you're a carry and you go on like a build or something and somebody doesn't like your build. Or somebody's just like, or you, you made a mistake and you like uh, missed an opportunity to kill people, kill people or you just feed or you got caught out or something. And so if somebody starts flaming you and so calling you an asshole, be like, dude, you suck new. It kind of discourages you from playing your best, from trying to win the game. Because in the back of your head, you're thinking, this guy's an asshole. I don't want him to win. That kind of thing. And uh, a lot of people it could put in a bad state of mind like it can kind of throw them off so they don't make more mistakes they'll get nervous they don't want pressure uh even if you think it doesn't bother you uh subconsciously you're less likely to win the game if people are like having a bad attitude in your team and if it's all for fun then it's all for fun but if some people are really cancerous like some people with bad attitudes like they yeah you know, they, they can make or break a team so just be nice to allies uh it, nothing good will ever come if you blame somebody. That's what I'm saying. Like, even if a person is awful, you tell them they're awful, they're not going to get any better. They're probably going to get worse. So, it's better not to say anything if they're bad. I mean, just point out, like, get this, get this, give advice, but don't be like, don't be an asshole about it. Second thing, in the picking stage, I know everybody plays all pick uh, in ranked. And it's a big fucking problem. People pick OP heroes. And there's not really much you could do about it. So people, the OP heroes in the uh, current meta game are Juggernaut, Troll. I see Storm Spirit picked a lot. Uh, not really techies. And then there's other heroes like Ember Spirit, uh, Meepo, like preference heroes. That if a person is really good with Meepo or really good with Ember Spirit, they can be really like really strong. Uh, I see Necrolite playing, being played a lot more. I mean, I'm they're definitely missing a bunch of other heroes like Axe, maybe, but Troll and Jug and those like really strong right click heroes early game, and they usually have uh, a good escape or they're really tanky or they have ridiculous DPS output. Uh, so, what you need to do is confuse the opponent, kinda. This is a uh, one of the strategies in the picking phase. So I'd like I'd like to use this fudge. So, uh, I played uh, ranked in the past couple of days, and I raised my MMR, uh, I think, 200 points. And all I did was pick Pudge, first pick, but I went offlane. I, I told him, I mean, I put the icon offlane, so I went Pudge with offlane. 
Now, I picked Pudge first pick, so now the opponent thinks I'm going mid-Pudge, and especially with my name, Butcher TV, they're thinking, okay, I'm going mid-Pudge. So they start counterpicking me with, like, Storm Spirit and, like, other heroes, like tanky heroes or some other kind of heroes, and they, they're not afraid to pick their mid. And what happens is then my team picks a good mid to counter their mid, and we win mid, and we more likely win the game. And I've gotten good with Pudge offlane, uh, especially in ranked, that I pick off their carry a couple times, and uh, I I roam and I contribute early game pretty well because Pudge is like I, all he needs levels, and it turns out that our carry is more farmed or stronger than their carry because I kill their carry a couple times solo, and Pudge is one of those heroes I can kill carry solo, and that's one of the good things. So, for example, if you're laying against a Spectre or a Troll, if you hook that carry under tower. After level 6, you pretty much kill them solo, and then you get all the experience, and they lose out on the farm, so. Uh, and you could use this, do this with a bunch of other heroes. Like, you can pick, like, a, I don't know, a, a Storm or something, and then people will counter pick them, and you can go, like, safe lane. Or, like, pick something obvious that goes mid, and then maybe, like, go off lane or run with it or something. Uh, just try to confuse your opponent. Don't be too uh, too straightforward with it. And I mean, be creative with it. Like uh, I use this for Pudge. I don't use this for any other heroes because I haven't played any other heroes in ranked with this. But just be creative. That's something to think about. Uh, don't experiment in ranked. So suppose somebody picked your hero or whatever. Uh, you're good at like carrying. And you're good at supporting, and people on your team pick carries and supports, and they, you need a mid. It's probably not going to be a good idea for you to go mid, and it's probably going to be an even worse idea if you play a hero that you're not good at in ranked. For example, people are telling you, oh, pick Axe or pick CM, pick CM, and you're like, I don't want to play that, or I'm not good at that, don't pick that, because you're probably not going to be good at it. Like, you need to play a hero a couple times recently to be good at that hero uh, unless you're to a point where you play a lot and you have like i don't know like five thousand six thousand hours or you play dota a lot and you can play your other hero then that's fine but sm most people are much better at certain heroes like 10 heroes like most people have like 10 favorite heroes that they play all the time and then the other heroes are just kind of like eh so don't play those heroes that are eh because you're probably going to get fucked up Uh, you need to pick good lockdown. What I've been noticing in the current metagame is if opponent picks a Storm or a Slark or a Juggernaut or a Troll and you don't have a single disable, there's a good chance you're going to lose the game. Because if you can't lock down a Troll Warlord, even before he gets his BKB, even when he's weak, supposed to be weak, he can destroy your team because there's no way you can hold him in place. Especially Storm Spirit. Like, how are you going to kill a Storm Spirit? If the Storm Spirit is good, and he always says mana, he's never going to get caught out if you don't have a silencer or a stun. So, just by those picks, if you don't have a silencer or a stun at the beginning of the game, playing a storm spirit, you big chance you're going to fucking lose. So, just make sure to have, and stuns and lockdown and silences are always good. Like, they're always good and against any hero. If you have a silence on your team, like a Drow or a Skyrath, it's always a good pick. Because silence just kills people. Like, it's one of the best things in the game. People overlook it. You need to have good initiation, preferably a tank. So, I like heroes like Centaur or Earthshaker, somebody that can jump in clockwork, that are kind of tanky, that can uh, initiate a good team fight. If you don't have initiation, how are you going to team fight? And that's another thing. If, uh, if you don't have good team fight, but you have good initiation, you can pick off heroes. If you have good team fight, then you're probably going to have good initiation. Like, good team fight heroes with AoE are probably good initiators too. But, if you don't have either, then you're probably going to lose. Like, if you have no AoE, no team fight, then you're in a bad position. So you need to have that, uh, at least one hero on your team. I mean, there are exceptions where it's like, this doesn't always, like, mean, but if you don't have a good team fight, there's a good chance you're going to lose. Like, the percentages are just there. Uh... Also, you need to have good tower push, good physical DPS, you need to have at least one physical DPS carry. Um, preferably that carry that's not so weak early game, like a Spectre. Preferably like a Tiny or something that can like 
do stuff early game or like a morphing to do stuff early game. I really don't like those farming, farming, farming heroes. Uh, anti mage is kind of in between because anti mage can split push, but you always need good DPS for towers because no matter how good your lineup is, no matter how much you're destroying your opponent, if you can't kill towers quickly, mm, there's a good chance the game will drag out and that leaves uh, time for throwing or you can't really capitalize off team fights that well. And if the opponent does have good uh, good uh, DPS, then one team fight and they can kill a bunch of Raxes and yeah. I mean, hopefully it's explanatory. Also, guide your team. Kind of communicate with your team. Um, if your team is doing stuff and it's falling apart, and nobody's saying anything. Tell your team, let's let's group up, let's push. If you see somebody's about to get ganked, don't wait for them to get ganked and die, and then ping them. Be like, you're a feeder. No, tell them straight up. Like, communicate with your team. Like, this guy's about to get ganked. We need to gank this guy. Like, this is what's happening. Please get this item. Da -da 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 -da. Don't be an asshole, but kind of advise your team what to happen. Um, but don't overdo it. Don't be like always talking like every 30 seconds and like that can annoy some people Because um, if you're always talking people might mute you And do it in a respectful manner kind of yeah. And the last tip I have is uh, Well, this is This is more because I play mid all the time Make sure you mid wins mid is like one of the most important aspects of the game. If, uh, if you have a good mid hero and uh, you make sure the mid hero wins, so you buy courier, you have wards, make sure he doesn't get ganked, you call missing an action. From time to time you gank him, you gank the, uh, the opponent mid hero and you make sure your mid wins. So if, suppose you have like an SF, he's gonna need help. SF usually needs help, he's gonna be ganked. So counter gank, uh, gank for him, like make sure SF wins mid, and if SF, SF is good, then the game should be pretty much in the bag. Uh, those kind of snowball heroes, if you have a Storm on your team, he's going to need help. If you have a Tinker on your team, he's going to need help. Just make sure to gank for your team, even if you're a carry sometimes. If you're like a Void, um, it wouldn't hurt every now and then to TP mid, Chrono, kill the opponent, and then go back to farming, you know? Uh, so, yeah. Hope this helps, guys. Uh, comment on what your biggest issues are for playing ranked or, and uh, maybe something that I've missed. If you have any advice for people that are playing ranked that you found is uh, helpful, uh, comment in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, guys.